Antennas have always fascinated me and uh, today we're going to have a look at the T2FD antenna which is a tilted folded dipole. Now this antenna was first developed during the Second World War for naval use in, in America and since then it's been adopted by amateurs all over the world. This particular one I'm going to look at is the diamond commercial version. Now I've got a pretty small garden and so I thought I'd look at the really small version from diamond which is approximately 30 foot long and it's claimed to cover the frequency range of approximately 2 megahertz up to 30 megahertz. Now that's quite a claim for such a short antenna. Let me tell you a bit about the T2FD antenna. Basically it's a doublet. It's two parallel wires fed, uh, joined together. Uh, there's a break in the centre which is the place at which it is fed and that is fed via a ballon and on the opposite side, in other words the other parallel wire on the opposite side of the doublet is a loading resistor which is around about 400 ohms. This combination produces a pretty low SWR right across the operational spectrum and typically you'll get around about 2 to 1. It rises slightly as you get to the extreme uh, high frequencies. Now clearly such a, an antenna is not going to perform in the same way as a full size antenna but this is the reason why I'm looking at it because it will be of interest to those with small gardens and of course listeners as well. So let's take a look at the uh, installation I've put up. Not the prettiest installation but at least it uh, is up in the air and I can uh, try it out. Well as I explained to you just now I've got a small garden so this is a good indication of how it will fit into quite a small space. So let's take a look at the antenna and I should explain that this is a commercial version. This is the Diamond WD330S which is just 10 meters long so it makes it about 32, 33 foot long. Now this is a general view of the antenna. As you can see I've erected it in the form of uh, an inverted V. It doesn't have to be inverted V, it can be erected as a horizontal antenna or indeed it can be erected uh, in its original um, configuration which was as a sloper. Now if we go in a bit closer you'll see the feed point there, you'll see that Diamond have cheated a little bit here because instead of putting the resistor on the far side they actually conv combine the resistor and the ballon into one unit. Let's uh, just zoom in a little bit closer. There we are. And there we are. You can see that the uh, feed um, point there uh, on the lower um, part of the antenna, the, lo the lower wire, is a combined ballon and a uh, load resistor. And you can see a couple of wires coming up from that um, feed point, which is actually the load resistor, which would normally be on the other side of the, uh, the wire there. So having seen my antenna up in the air, let's connect it to a radio and uh, see how well it works. I've decided to start on 80 metres because that's the band where the antenna is uh, quite short but, uh, and it's 7 o'clock in the evening here at summer time so the band is not really open at the moment but you can hear some stations on there. So, quite lively. The other band I like to operate on is 20 metres and so um, Reasonable signal on 20 metres now. Short skip at the moment. And another good signal there. No idea what he's saying, but um, it's a strong signal. Uh, we're on 40 metres now. And uh, as you can hear, it's uh, quite active as well, quite some um, good signals.
So there we are. That's the uh, Diamond WD330S, which is a very short antenna. Um, I have worked uh, some uh, stations on it over the last few days. Uh, I've worked uh, stations on 80, 40, 20 metres. 15 and 10 were closed, but um, on those three bands it seemed to operate uh, quite well. I was quite encouraged to get some uh, reports on 80 metres. I, I did think that might be a bit of a struggle, but uh, it, it works. So how does the antenna fit in? Well, I think if you've got a small garden and you want to cover all bands, then it is a serious option to consider. I also think it happens to be a very good receiving antenna if you're a listener. It enables you to listen on all the bands, and for whatever reason, I'm not quite sure, it seems to have a better signal-to-noise ratio than a uh, conventional dipole. I've got a dipole here for 40 metres and one for 20 metres. And uh, I have to say that the signal-to-noise ratio is marginally better on the Diamond uh, T2FD antenna. But, of course, the signal reports are not as good. So, in a nutshell, it's a short antenna. It works quite well on all the bands. There is a loss because, obviously, um, it's a compromise. You've got a short antenna, you've got a, a load resistor there which absorbs power. But, small garden, want to cover all bands, I think it merits uh, some serious consideration. And if you're a listener, well, I think it really does work extremely well for listeners. So there we are, the Diamond WD-330S.